In chapter 8, we're going to be looking a lot at y equals the natural log of x. And we're going to look at the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x. I wanted to revisit just logs in general. Let's start out with log base 2 of x. It's easier to work with. Let's get some x values and some y values for log base 2 of x. When we have log base 2 of 1, that asks the question, what do we raise 2 to to get a value of 1? And 2 to the 0 is 1. As a matter of fact, anything to the 0 is 1, with the exception of 0. We plugged 1 in for x, and we get out 0 for y, because this will say 0 is equal to the log base 2 of 1. 2 to the 0 power is 1. Then we just plug in nice values, and, and the nice values we'd use are powers of 2. We could plug in log base 2 of 2. That's equal to 1. 2 to the first power is 2. So we're plugging 2 in for x and getting 1 out for y. 4 would give you power of 2, 8 would give you a power of 3, and so on and so forth. So we'd have to go out to 16 to have a power of 4. Now when we graph this, we have the point 1, 0. We have 2, 1. And we have 4, 2. And 5, 6, 7, 8 goes up to 3. And this is the shape of a log function. Right here, I missed a little bit there. But the point is, as x approaches infinity, this will increase slowly, but it does increase forever. So the limit as x approaches infinity of log base 2 of x is infinity. Well, let's look at the one we're going to use a lot, which is the natural log of x. And we're going to get that from the integral of 1 over x dx is the natural log of the absolute value of x. And we're going to be taking the limit as x approaches infinity quite a bit of this function. Let's look at uh, some, an xy chart of natural log of x. We still have 1, 0. The natural log of 1 is still 0 because e to the 0 is 1. And then we would need powers of e, which is e, that'd be to the first power, so we'd have natural log of e is equal to 1, e to the first is e, and then we'd have e squared, whatever that is, which would be 2. So if we're going to graph the natural y equals the natural log of x, it still has the point 1, 0, and then you'd have to go out to e to get a value of 1, which is about 2.718. So there's 1, 2, 3, 2.718 gets you a power of 1. Now that function will still increase very slowly, but it will increase forever. So the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of absolute value of x is infinity. That is what we need to know right there. That's what I want you to get out of this video before we start uh, diving into chapter 8.